Hi everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Rides. Today it's a very big day because I have finally been freed from the Illumin Crate waitlist. This is the December box, I believe it's called like the Into the Stars box or something like that. But the first cool thing, the first cool thing, what actually makes it exciting because I've been an owl crate girly up until now because of this whole waitlist issue. And I've been to the top of the waitlist many times but I had to keep declining because I just wasn't interested in the box. I wasn't financially stable enough to justify buying a box I didn't care about just to get on the waitlist or onto the subscription, you know? But as an owl crate girly, I have always received my boxes knowing pretty much exactly what the book is ahead of time because I've almost always had an arc for the owl crate books, which is a good thing in the sense because it means I'm already getting books that I know I'll love. But there's no surprise there. This one, very exciting, because they do have announced what the book is but I have not looked into it, I've not heard of it. When I got off the waitlist and I saw this box there, I think I heard that it was a sci-fi book and I thought, you know, I don't really read sci-fi, but I'm gonna get this. Okay, so this one is in the stars, in the stars, and it has the January theme on the back, which again, already know what the book is. Very excited about the book as well. So we have the featured book is The Prince of All of Moments. And then we have the information about the items in here. So I am getting spoilers here. First thing I see on top is here, it's blue, it's starry, it says books are a way to live a thousand lives, designed by Milk, Milk Wee Danny, <laughs> Milk, oh that's a T, by Milk T Danny, we from Mex read from the hands of fate with a TBR jar with a quote from the invisible life of Ali LaRue, this is a jar, let's open you up. I will also say now that I've kind of lost interest in owl crate boxes recently because I think their items have just got vaguely underwhelming or it's re repeats of things I already have but I was very interested in this like book stand thing so this being a jar and not just like a mug because as someone who doesn't drink hot drinks I just use all my mugs to like hold pens and hairbands and stuff so I think wow finally a practical item that I will actually use and I have been thinking of making one myself so it has the same quote on it that it has on the box which is books are a way to live a thousand lives it's got a little hole at the top so I guess it's sort of like a money jar so I can pop in all the little slips of paper with my TBR on there and then I can just open it and take one out. I actually love this. This is very cute. This is going to live up here for now, temporarily. That is very cute and it's actually an item that I will look to as decoration and it's something I will actually use, which is very important. This is very purple. I don't know what I'm expecting for the colour scheme of this book. Book, box. I think we've got lots of options here. We've got very bisexual colours. So this here... It looks like it's going to be the Stargate Donuts tea towel. Adorn your kitchen with this useful tea towel that has artwork inspired by Light from Uncommon Stars. I've not heard of that book. It's just going to be very fun. This feels like a nice microfiber cloth. This feels like far too nice to be a tea towel. Let's open this up. 50% poly, 50% cotton, made in China. Hello. Cute. Let's have a look at you. Stargate Donuts. I wish I knew what- oh we're matching. I wish I knew more about this book to comment on how cute and like um how good the item is to represent the book but I'm glad I'm learning more about new books today So again the thing about Alcray is I've pretty much heard of all the books they reference not read most of them but I have heard of them so this is a day for learning and also I think Alcray also sticks very greatly to fantasy so this being a sci-fi box is very fun again but no, I will never use this as a tea towel, but I do think it's quite cute, and I love it. Next up, we have the Violet Divinations Weekly Planner, designed by Marigona Sulu. Easily plan your week with this gorgeous weekly planner, influenced by the world of Violet Made of Thorns. Not read that book, have heard of it, do own... I believe it's back here somewhere. Do own the owl crate version, which was gifted to me. This is cute. I'll actually show you what it is. It's just, it's just, it's just a weekly planner. It's got like a habits track in the corner. Probably won't use this. Might give this away to someone who will use it. But again, it's cute. I like it. I'm looking at this list of books. And the next thing that I'm going to pull out is a calendar. So this has got the same curse as, again, the last owl crate box. So there's a lot of like paper items. And not many like actual things I will use and like. Like this jar. So next up we have a 2024 calendar with artwork from Catalina Vitkovska. Let's see what it says on here. Oh, design, designed by Jane Tibbetts as well, who is at Hattie Nora. 
to head to the view of this multi-fountain calendar which has stunning artwork featuring many of our favourite British locations. To the view in the stars wall calendar, let's open it up. Is this gonna, are they going to tell me what all the locations are? Ooh! We have the Lunar Chronicles Palace. It does actually say Cozy here. And then at the bottom here we've got like a little quote from the book. Have a little look there. I'm going to flick through and just see if I can actually recognise anything about having to read it. We have a river from She Who Became the Sun. Um, under the Whispering Door. The Jasmine Throne. Again, not to point out Alcrate, but I already think that the books they're pulling from are more diverse than anything Alcrate has ever done. Song of Silver Flame Light Night. I have not heard of that one, but that looks very pretty. This Woven Kingdom. The Priory of the Orange Tree. I have heard of this one. I've heard a lot of them. But this is one I actually own and tend to read, which means I will probably also like everything else in this calendar. This is beautiful. I want to go here. This is the Adventures of Anina Al Sirasi. I will learn how to pronounce that as soon as possible. But this is gorgeous. This looks like some kind of underground lake cave thing. And as a Skyrim Black Reach enjoyer. Oh, and here we have Stargate Donut from this lovely tea towel. That looks. I need to know what this book is about because that looks cute, modern, not spacey like I was expecting at all. The Stardust Thief. So this is Ever After. Ooh. And finally, for December, we have Daughter of the Moon Goddess, which I need to pick up because I've seen it's beautiful. But also, I know it's in Waterstones, and the Waterstones half half price half buy sales coming up, so I might grab them. This is cute. I will probably pick this number because it's also like a nice size for a wall calendar. It's not going to take up a huge amount of room. I like this. I'm a big fan. And now finally, is that four items? That's four items. I will not comment any further. But finally, I see the book. So this will be my first um, Illumicrate Special Edition book. I believe they usually go for the UK, I think they're UK companies, they usually go for the UK covers. And I will see if we have, do we have any information? A signed Royal Hardback and features an exclusive cover from the publisher. Full embossing on the hardback by Chatty Mora, who also designed the wall calendar um, digitally printed edges from the publisher and end paper artwork by saint Dree. interesting this is a lot of from the publisher where i think for all the alcohol ones i've had it's like every single element is by someone else so there seems to be like no team there it's all very not harmonious in a sense as much as i do love some alcohol editions like the study and drowning one gorgeous i'm looking around as if i have any more nearby i can't see any Oh, what the, what, the, what the river knows. Perfect. But it seems like every element is done by a different person. It's not just like from the publisher or like a team. And this is... Okay, so the principle of moments. Beautiful, stunning, love these people already. We've got some shine there. Shine on the spine, shine on the back. So the back cover art is the same as the front cover art. Interesting. Then we have... This is beautiful. I'm just a starry girl, so I'm incredibly biased to this. Let's open, ooh, let's, let's take the skin off. I got a glimpse of the end papers then, but we'll see. So, back's plain, spine is spining, and the front, beautiful shiny, we've got a quote there, which says, Courage is the only thing stronger than fear, and love is the thread that holds the atoms of this universe together. I like that. And then, hello. I was going to say it reminds me of the domes from the Luma, Lunar Chronicles, but I'm pretty sure this is, that's not a unique to the Lunar Chronicles concept. <laughs> Like the domes, that's like very. I need to read what this book's actually about because I was gonna say, I was gonna say that that's Mars, it, but it's just it's just a red planet. And then this that this is a very different. Like we're giving a very different energies here. What is this book about? Signed on here. Is there any other like content? Are we going all person note at the start? Talking about how this book is a miracle that I believe no one wanted. No one wanted in summary. It's about the publishing journey. Is that unique to Illumicrate? Is that just already in the box? The book, more like. Okay, so I don't think there's any exclusive content, not like an author letter or anything. I think it's just like very beautiful this, very beautiful for embossing, and very beautiful cover as well. I do wish that the front and the back artworks were different, maybe not provided by the publisher, but I also don't know what the original cover for this book looks like, to comment. But I guess it will fit this colour scheme and style somehow. I'm interested. 
So for my first Illumin print box, I quite like this. I think I just love this little jar so much. I'm going to bring you back front and centre for a minute. I love this little jar, and this book's going to be the first one to go into this little jar. Also, this one is more worthwhile for money for me because it ships in the UK, so I don't have to pay you these shipping fees that are the same cost as the box. So I think I will continue getting this, this box, especially as I know I want the book for the next month, which I think is called The Voyage of the Damned. And I intrigued. I'm intrigued to learn more because I've also seen people unboxing boxes just over the years and I, they do have some banger items and some banger books and this one's very pretty and it's going to look lovely on my shelves. So thank you so much for watching that video. Please let me know if you have a lot of experience with Illumin Create books, boxes, books, or books or boxes. Tell me what you think about them in the comments below and also if you are someone who collects multiple book boxes like the Alcrit ones as well or even the Fairy Loot ones even though I think they're having a bit of a scandal right now. Let me know what your favourites are. Is this going to be worth me investing in or should I return to Alcrite? Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.